My name is Jeannie and this is part of my episode and this is Bacon. So this is part of our Nichiren Buddhists on its view of love and relationships. So I'll be interviewing my cousin soon and um, she's launching her podcast and um, we will be recording her soon and she's coming up. And there she is. So her name is Velia uh, Malazar de Labdao, and she is a PSI graduate from the Philippines 2003 2004, and she was a volunteer coach for Star Shooters 90 day program. She's going to discuss about her podcast, Love on Love. So um, basically, the format of her podcast is she'll be answering questions about relationships and how to rescue relationships. Um, and this is going to be every Saturday podcast, and she's going to be recording and submitting her podcast for viewers to uh, listen and to learn. And then they can also email her at lavelia78 at gmail.com. Uh, so that they can send their questions. So, uh, hi, love. This is Bacon. Hi. <laughs> my hi, Bacon. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, and uh, love is my cousin. Yes. And she's yeah, yeah. Uh, Buddhist, and uh, I want you to do, introduce yourself. Yeah, hi. Good morning. Good morning, world. <laughs> it's actually... Uh, Early in the morning here in Cebu, Philippines. Um, yeah, my cousin mentioned earlier, I'm La Valia Malazar Telam now. And I'm a mom of four. And um, I'm, of course, from Cebu. And um, I've been doing coaching, uh, volunteer coaching way back 2003. And, and I think this is something that I really want to do. And you know, looking forward to those uh, people who would want to uh, have a different perspective, and you know, just shoot a message, and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, we have a question from my friend Nikki. So she sent her question: What do you do when an ex comes back after a long period of time? And he's still the same person, uh, and he has come back to you, but you see the red flags, and you still want to try it out, but you know something is wrong. So what should you do in a situation where an ex comes back, asking you back to be in a relationship with you? You've changed, but he hasn't changed, and you still see the same red flags. So what should you do? Okay. First and foremost, um the way I see it, people change. That's a fact. So um, thinking that he hasn't changed, maybe in a perspective that you, there's familiarity uh, that, you know, you see that he hasn't changed. But um, I believe that people really change. There's a lot of things that has been going on since it's been a long time. And well, you should. There is acceptance that people really change. So he has changed. Maybe you. There's just a perspective also from yourself, from Nikki, that um, he hasn't changed because of the familiarity. That's one. Another thing is that there are red flags. So um, we all know that red flags are clues uh, for us. You know, to take a pause. And meaning there's a doubt there. So when you are in doubt, don't, don't do anything. Just pause, okay? Just pause. And um, actually, based from experience, um, I also had that one before. And it really didn't turn out well. I also thought that he, there was something because, you know, he was, uh, you know, he was a... Um, like my first oh, serious relationship, something like that. Because, you know, we hold this memory of the person that um, they're very special and everything. And maybe at this point in our lives, we're looking for that someone who can really 
you know, be our partner, to be the rest of our, you know, the, to be with us for the rest of our life. And maybe this one who has come back from the past is the one. So there's always those kind of um, premise uh, that we have in our minds that maybe he's the one. So I wouldn't say that, um, you know, don't do it because of the red flags, but just really try to um, investigate, quote unquote, meaning um, don't jump into anything. Just there is a purpose why this person is in your life right now, since you said it's been a long time, you know. So there's a, there's a reason why. But it, the reason may not be that, you know, he is really, um, may not be, but maybe. So that's the thing. You have to find it out for yourself. I wouldn't say, you know, do this, do that. But um, just a thing of caution, just observe first and get to know each other first. Again, because, you know, like you, you have changed. I'm sure he has changed. So that one first. If you want to be friends with him first, go ahead. But if you see the red flags and you feel that this person may not be of value in your life now, um, then just, um, you know, um, stay with the friendship and don't do anything romantic or, you know, advancing to any sort, something like that. So that's my take on your situation. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So <laughs> I'm going to add my uh, question too yeah. for myself. So, <laughs> um, so my question is for myself is uh, I've been hurt so many times before. And what can you advise me uh, uh, since I'm dating someone new? So what can you give me uh, as an advice? Like I have like fear of being hurt again. And how can you advise me? And um, what should I do? You know, because there's always that fear like, oh, this guy is going to hurt me. And even if the, uh, he's yeah. a nice guy. Yeah. So, um, like I, I mentioned when people ask me this kind of question, um, because, you know, we, our minds is like a computer. We are a supercomputer, so to say right we store a lot of memories and everything from the past and you know the fear of the past that it comes up again i'd be hurt again if i go to if i'm in this relationship sometimes we assume oh, i'm gonna be hurt again or something and then the worry of the future like i worry if i get hurt again so what if what if what if so if you really want to start a clean state now even though it's really challenging you just have to dive in there, dive in the process. You meet this guy. I mean, you have met this wonderful guy right now and just experience him, experience uh, the situation, experience the um, experience each other. Because like I said earlier, for Nikki also that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. So give it a try, <laughs> give it a try. And you know, the fear, it's there, I understand, but be courageous, be courageous and just go for it. If it feels right, if, uh, if you feel light and with ease about him, no red flags. <laughs> so just keep moving forward. And even if you see some yellow flags, red flags or whatever, just observe first and, you know, maybe, maybe you'll never know. This could be something that would, you know, enrich your life right now and you'll be able to move forward and be happy because that's just our purpose we have uh we want to be happy you know so that's my <laughs> permitted advice for you my cousin dear <laughs> yeah okay. okay hi we're back and sorry for the interruption um so we're back and sorry for the interruption. It's just that we had issues uh, also with my dog and La Lavelia with her um, daughter. So yeah, but that's life. So going back to the interview. So um, 
So love, I want to ask you why you want to have a podcast and why you want to do this. What's your purpose for doing this? Well, the purpose mainly is to really um, empower and inspire people um, to make a change uh, within themselves and for them also to remember who they are and you know make choices out of love so that is my purpose um, i really want to share my experiences um, because i've been wondering all my life what are these experiences for and i feel now that it is also for me to share to other people and you know so that i can remind them uh, of who they are and they're capable they're whole and they're creative um, uh, beings in the world so um that's really the main purpose to empower and inspire yeah that's why i'm doing this i'm diving into this now <laughs> yeah yeah and I, I can assure you that love is my relationship coach so she helps me out so she's actually helped me out and it has uh um i've had good results talking to her uh and eventually she's um um, she's going to offer like uh, sessions. So, right. Can you talk about like uh, offering three sessions at first? And then if they want to work with you, they can actually work with you one on one and uh, all of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So the opportunity, yeah. This will, uh, we, I'm going to take three sessions, right. And we're going to talk about it and, you know, I'm going to help you. I'm, I'm going to facilitate. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Just facilitate your growth um, in the process. And if you want to move forward, then we can talk about it, make arrangements. You know, because we're, if you're from the U.S., we're halfway around the world. So I'm halfway around the world. So, yeah, so we can make arrangements, whatever, um, the time, the fees and everything. So, yeah. Um, if anyone's up for it, then let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, and I'm one of your repeat customers. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, she's my repeat and she's forever free. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I'm paying you back by, uh, um, by introducing you <laughs> to the world and to that's my awesome. subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and also, <laughs> I have another question. So what do you do if you've been married and then your relationship goes stale and then you want to end the marriage and uh, because you don't feel that it was a perfect fit in the first place or that uh, the marriage has just not been making you happy. So what can you advise that person if the, the marriage and the relationship has gone stale? Okay, so, um, you know, having the perspective of gone stale, it's, it's subjective, right? It's, it's like, for example, it's my perspective that this relationship has gone stale. So what am I going to do about it, right? We always start with that. What am I going to do about it? I'm not happy anymore. So why am I, what am I doing here? Why am I staying here? But there's so many factors that we have to consider before we arrive at a decision, right? So um, it takes reflection for me. Um, it takes a lot of reflection. There's a lot of things to consider. One is if there are kids, you know, I'm very concerned because I have kids as well and I'm very concerned with the kids, right? So if there are kids, that's one. Another thing is that, um, you know, why is gun stale? Are you still willing to do something about it? Are you still willing to, you know, um, put some fire so that the flame could, you know, rise up again and then, you know, it could create passion and because it's normal. It's normal for people to be together and then we think that we already know each other. So I'm so bored with this person. I see him every day or I see her every day. You know, when I wake up, she doesn't brush her teeth or whatever, you know, so many things. And we also have that, you know, in the, from the beginning, you know, so it's still from the past, you know, 
the memories of the past from the beginning. I really didn't like him much or she wasn't really my dream girl, but I just dove into it or something. But we always remember there was a purpose. You saw something in that person why you married him or her, right? I'm sure you felt something. You love that person. The years that you spent, the amount, even, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's years or months, you just got married and you want to break it up right away. So, because you didn't feel right. So, again, take a pause, reflect, right? So, think about it, you know, just think about it first. And would you, ask yourself, would you still want to do something about it are you still willing to pour in some little bit of energy or one last energy right to give it a try again you know to rekindle and ask your partner as well ask your partner maybe it's just you that's feeling this way right maybe it's just you that thinks that it's gone stale but your partner still thinks that you know hey baby we still we still have this fire within us so Something like that. So, yeah. And then talk about it. I really think that especially with husband and wives, communication is very important. So you need to open up to your partner, right? Have, be honest. Like have a hot HOT. Honest, open, and trusting. If there have been issues, it's more than that. Why you think it's, it's gone stale? Maybe you're not talking anymore, right? And so many things connected to that already. There's this connection. So start your, within yourself and then ask your partner. I think those are the first steps first before you would say that, you know, I want to break it up because I'm not feeling like this, feeling like that. We don't want to regret anything. So before you make a, this huge decision, especially with kids involved, um, again, take a pause and do, do that, those steps first. And then we proceed, you proceed step by step. And then if all else, you know, it's really not working, then you come to the decision in your heart. You could really say that, you know, I don't really love this person anymore. This person doesn't give value to my life, you know, um, so that the transition would be not hurtful, right? And at least there'll be amicable um agreement that you know you you gotta go you know you have to break this up and that's it at least when you make this decision there will be no regrets anymore yeah you, you you can say that you know i really did my best my hundred percent best and now even if i you know i'm i got a divorce or something but i'm ready to start a new slate and i'm willing to move on with my life with or without a partner for now and then no regrets that's it and you'd still be happy, even if, you know, you came from that, you know, broken relationship. So I'll just quote, end quote, broken, right? We don't, we don't want to label it as like really, really broken or something. But, you know, yeah, something like that. Okay? Yeah. I think that was good. Um, mm -hmm. Final question. So uh, I actually have a friend and he's like, he's never been in a in a serious relationship and it's just been short-term relationships like and uh he wow. hasn't really had a serious relationship and he's in his late 20s and he hates it because everybody just friend zones him like he says everybody just considers him a friend you know and so um what can you advise guys that are he's a really nice guy he's a really nice friend to me but um he's been friend zoned by most of the women that he meets so how can he be become that boyfriend material and how can he shift his energy so that he's no longer a boyfriend material uh, no longer a friend material but a boyfriend material Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. It doesn't really matter um, if you know in your late twenties or you're in your seventies or something, right? So, just um, never mind the age. Okay. But the most important thing that you can start is to be, be the person.
person that you want to be? What does that mean? Like, you know, if you think that right now, you know, you are being kind, you're, you know, you, you already have the qualities that you think, you know, there's nothing that you can change because you don't want to change to be someone you're not. Just be yourself. Continue to be yourself. Okay? Um, sometimes there's a reason why, you know, we're, we're asking, the, you know, why am I always friend zoned? You know, I want to, I like her, you know, but how come? You know, I've liked so many people, but how come they don't like me back? So there's, it's just not that person yet, perhaps, right? Or you can also take a look at yourself. Um, reflect, right? Reflect. Um, what is it that you do? I guess I don't know your friend, right, Jen? So I don't know if, because some people are, you know, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure, right? Okay, some people are so aggressive and they think that, you know, Maybe there are things, I'm just saying that there, maybe there are things that he does on a first date or something, or he says on a first date that turns women off. Maybe, maybe, because you think he's a nice guy, right? So, you don't know, because you guys are friends, so we don't know what happens during the dates or something. Or, or the question, my question also is, has he not gone out with, with anyone, right? So, um, but I'm sure he, he, does, he has gone with, probably he has gone with anyone or with someone, but what happens there, you know, so something like that. And, you know, just keep being open because, you know, maybe he's hurt. Like there's already a mindset that I'm always friend zoned. I'm always friend zoned. So what are you creating? You'll always be friend zoned, right? Because that's your focus. So you got to change your focus also, right? So you're right. I want to be in a relationship. Someday I'm going to be in a relationship, right? I'm preparing myself or be in that wonderful relationship. So shift to that. Shift to that kind of thinking, okay? Stop thinking about the friend zone thing. No. <laughs> if you want to have a relationship, you can get it. You can create it. I'm sure you, you want, but you got to start with shifting first, shift, shifting the focus, okay? And if you think that you're already the nice guy, believe in that. If you're the nice guy, you don't have to do something, whatever change that you think you can do. No, just be yourself and just go with it and pray. And that's one thing that we, we chant that we are Buddhists, right? And we co-create and with the universe. So yeah, just pray and, you know, desire it really that, you know, I want this partner and this person. You can even create the kind of person that you want for yourself. So yeah, that's it. It's just, just abroad because I don't know him, right? So it's just, just a broad um, suggestion that I could tell him for now. Yeah. So yeah, that's it, Jen. Thank you. Thank you very much. So um... yeah. So once again, when our, um, I'll be posting the, the show links or the show notes uh, and the link to your podcast. So you'll be releasing your podcast every Saturday and people can send in their questions to you and you can answer them on air uh, on the podcast and they send it to lavelia78 at gmail.com, right? So L-O-V-E-L-L-A-7-8. So letters oh no number seven and eight at gmail.com <laughs> they can send all their questions yes. and also yeah to the link yeah um and then you offer like a free session and if they want to work with you to facilitate uh for you to facilitate um any relationship issues that they might have you can um you can talk with them with regards to that so um, this has been really um, interesting um, conversation and interview, but um, I think we'll we'll hear from you again, and then uh, hopefully we'll see you on YouTube next time. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, then, yeah. We'll be preparing for that. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Bless. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, okay. And thank you, Bacon. Thank you, Bacon. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs>
Thank you very much. And um, thank you for the interview. And um, I'll be interviewing you again, and I'll feature you in my YouTube channel again. Thank you. Yeah. Bye -bye. Thank you very much also, Jen, and I wish you well. Bye. Bye.